Hey guys, what's up? This is Darius. Um, this is my second uh, T-log, basically. And I, and I kind of ramble a lot because um, I have Alzheimer's, so um, I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, so basically what's going on is I've been on T for like two months and a week, basically. Somewhere around there. Um... There's been a lot of little changes, and probably ones that I would more notice than anybody else. Like, some of them I don't know if I even notice. Like, I'm not sure about my voice. I'm not sure if I've just been smoking a buttload of cigarettes, or if I'm actually, like... I guess I need to speak up into this. Or if I'm actually, like... You know, my voice is changing and everything, and I'm not sure, really. Um... <clears throat> So, I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me, because I, I really don't know. And I don't have anybody around that's like around me all the time that would that would guess, because I'm usually working and stuff, so let me know about that. Um, the other thing is I noticed like my chest has been shrinking, um, so that's fucking good. It would be better if I hadn't gained a bunch of weight before I started taking tea, um, because then it would be even more shrunk down. Um, my love handles, which I totally had, they're definitely shrinking. Um, I've noticed a little bit more muscle development, muscle development in my calves, um, my biceps, stuff like that. I, <laughs> I am way fucking hornier, <laughs> and it's a blessing and a curse. Mainly a blessing, like almost 100% a blessing. The only part that's a curse is that my girlfriend lives in New York. And I live in the Bay Area, so therefore that's the curse part. But I get by just fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is happening. Uh, I don't know if I should talk about this. Let's see. There's 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 really a lot of things that are that are growing, um, that are noticeably growing. I'll just leave it at that. Well, we'll mystic thing for you to figure out. <laughs> um, so that's one thing. Um, I'm still working with Liam Martin. I, I did, I'm starting to do tea injections myself. I like stabbing myself in the leg. My own self, personally, it's kind of like I have a heroin addiction, but a lot healthier. <laughs> well, except for the fact that tea is pretty hard on your kidneys and liver right here. Um, tea that has been synthesized in a lab, that is. Um, so that's one thing that I started doing too. And let's see what else. That's all the stuff that's been happening to my body. Um, oh, I've been getting sir way fucking more. All, all the time. And I think, you know, part of that is like if I go to a gas station or I go to somewhere that you can only see me from my stomach up, most people call me sir. Um, probably depends on what shirt I'm wearing, how tight it is, and, like, the expression on my face or whatever, which is usually kind of a pissed off expression when I'm walking because I don't want anybody to talk to me. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, so usually I, be, I begin that a lot more, and people used to correct themselves almost 96% of the time before. Or maybe like 90% they would correct themselves or 80% or something like that. It was a really high percentage. They would say sir and then they would correct themselves. And a lot a lot now I just, they say sir and they don't correct themselves at all. I still get ma'am a lot. I mean, especially when I'm walking or whatever because I wear really tight pants and all the bedunk doesn't really fit in the trunk. And uh, all that. So you can kind of tell from that. Or maybe, I don't know. People, some people still call me sir when I'm walking around like that, so maybe they just think I'm like part Puerto Rican or something, even though I'm white as hell. That's the only thing you can, I guess I could be, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, because apparently there's really white Puerto Ricans, which I didn't know until I went to New York. And, um, so maybe they think, I, I don't know, I don't fucking know. But, so that, and then just in general, like what's going on with my head? Um, I'm just like, you know, like I still have my own stuff to deal with and everything, stuff that I think about a lot, stuff that bothers me, but I definitely feel very, very comfortable 
Um, way more comfortable taking tea. I feel way more comfortable with my body. I feel way more comfortable, like, just, like, expressing myself and in a whole lot of different ways. And it's just because of the tea. So I know, like, once I get top surgery, too, like, shit's gonna be fucking on. Like, I'll just be fine. And, um, yeah, I just feel way more confident, way more, like, whatever. Like, I feel chill, but I also feel aggressive when I need to feel aggressive. Um, possibly. So, yeah, I mean, tea's fucking great for me. It, I, I haven't had any peer support, like, in terms of, like, people I hang out with and talk to. I'll look at people's blogs and stuff, but I feel like, you know, it's nice to have, but I don't personally really, like, like require it um, in order to feel like I know what people are doing. Um, I haven't had any counseling. Not the biggest fan of counseling. I, I mean, I will go to counseling if it's super necessary, but this is, I don't know. I don't like people telling me what to do very much. Or how I'm fucked up. Because <laughs> I know. I sure as hell know that already. <laughs> you know? And, um... So that's what's been going on with that. That's all the changes and everything. Please feel free to ask me questions, even though there's a million, billion people on here that you could ask questions about taking tea um, and everything else because there's like a lot of trans guy posts and everything. But if you want to ask me questions, feel free and go ahead. Um, let's see. Let's... I'm done talking about the changes. Let's talk about like what's going on else in my life. Um, I started going out a little again a little bit more because most people that know me know that I work all the fucking time. I work like seven days a week and I've kind of had to make this decision that I would start, you know, trying to go out more and cut back my work hours and stuff like that. So, that's what I've been trying to do. And, um, I love going out. I feel like I need to. Last time I went out, people, like, swarmed me, mauled me. Everybody hella missed me, so it was good to know. Um, I'm thinking about moving to Philly. Anybody who knows about Philly... Let me know, hit me up in the details with cool trans stuff or hip hop or punk or anything alternative or interesting or cool um, going on there. Let me know because I'm thinking about going there. I actually just got back from a trip in Philly and New York and um, I was over there visiting my girlfriend and we just took a, like a $13 bus or something down, down to Philly and um, it was badass. Like, I totally want to live there. I totally want to fucking spray everything and, like, ride bikes and fucking, like, go to cheap-ass bars and shows and do a community radio there. And, like, <clears throat> I was thinking about having, like, you know, maybe I'm a overachiever, but, like, a, a trans show, a show where I talk about, interview different trans people, um, hip-hop, old-school hip-hop, and un new underground stuff that's kind of in the spirit of old school and, and interviews people there that would be like a me and my girlfriend kind of show and then I was thinking about doing like a metal hardcore old school punk local underground hardcore and punk and everything kind of show too there I feel like there's a lot of opportunities for me it's really cheap I can get a car there <laughs> they took away my license in California whoops and um <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so, I don't know, that's just what I was thinking, I think it'll be a really good move for me, I know of some trans guys who live there, and who I knew in Oakland that moved there, um, but I don't really keep in good touch with them, or I don't really know them, only on the internet, so, um, but whatever, I make friends easily, so, you know, if y'all want to be my friend, you know, hit me up, or whatever. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, now it's time for dessert. Alright, this is, I'm going to play you just a quick little clip of one of my favorite songs. It's a uh, Ice Cream by Ray Kwan. Hope I said that right. It's a beautiful, beautiful love song. <laughs> Alright, check out the video, too. And, um, thanks guys for watching. I know I ramble. I'm sorry. Cheers. Fuck yeah. Being trans is better than being born male. <laughs> All right, peace.